Good evening, everybody. This is Papa Chubby, and you are watching the extended play sessions. How you doing?
you feeling good tonight? It's so great to be here back in Norwood. I was here in April, and we had such a good time. We thought we'd do it again. What do you say? Yeah. Are you guys having a good December so far? Yeah. All right, well, if you're not, we're going to make it a little bit better tonight, all right? I know it's a hard time of year for a lot of people, and I know that uh, kicks up a lot of stuff, but music's going to make it all better tonight. Your papa told you that, so I'm going to do a song I wrote about when I was a small child, and I lived in the Bronx. And you, you ever hear the Rolling Stones song, Some Girls? You don't, no, not Some, some Girls. Uh, do, 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 do. What is that one called? Miss You. Miss You, Miss You. When it goes, we're going to come around with some Puerto Rican girls, just die to meet you. Well, I grew up with those Puerto Rican girls. They were my babysitters. And I was in love by the time I was four with these beautiful women, man. Who go, oh, Mio, come here. And they'd say, gordito. And I thought that was a really sweet term. Then I found out it meant little fat one. <laughs> but it is kind of cute, you know? So especially when you fall, oh, gordito. Thank you, Isabella. <laughs> So I wrote this song, this is called Gordito. And my intention on this next number is that it make you feel good inside and it makes you feel safe and warm and uh, enlightened, man, because I love you all. Thank you so much for being here.
Thank you. Can I get a big hand for the band, y'all? Come on. Mr. Dave Keyes joining us tonight on the piano and organ. Come on. And the snazzy jacket. Dave, your stool all right there? You need me to push in your stool? <laughs> I, bet you, I made the adjustment. I know you missed me, Keys. <laughs> Give it up to my brother from another mother, Mr. Dave Keys, y'all. Come on. On the bass guitar, Mr. Mark Garabian. Bad mofo from the old school. Looking good, sounding good. How you doing, Marky Mark? You feeling good? All right. On the drums, the one and only Mr. Andre Corbonics the third, because two were never enough. And I am the master of disaster, the beast from the east, the chub father, the one and only Papa Chubby. Are you feeling good, my friend? Say yeah. Are you in the mood to hear a little blues? Yeah. Are you in the mood to hear a little blues? Yeah. Then I want to tell you about my hometown. Yeah. I come from New York City. The Big Apple, yeah. Why are you shaking your head, man? You New England people don't like us in New York, do you? How are them Patriots doing this year, right? Yeah, no, no, better than the Jets, come on now. Actually, I don't give a shit about football. I don't care. I, I, I really don't. I don't even like it. Man. I like sports where people hurt each other. With no commercials, so. We're going to do this one for you. Can you be? Let's swing it. Brooklyn, baby. 
York City Blues, yeah. We're pulling out the old ones tonight, yeah. Are y'all feeling good? Oh man, I love playing here. It's so much fun. So uh, I'm gonna do a, a song about. Uh, wow, man, this is a hard one to explain. Let me put it to you this way, man. I'm not only a musician; I'm a fan of music, just like you guys are. That's why you're all here tonight because you love music. Because music afforded you the same luxury as it did me the same escape it did me it, it afforded you the ability to transcend men and uh this is a song about some of my heroes in music people like um jimmy hendrix Steve Ray Vaughan, 
John Lennon, Bob Marley, Willie Dixon, Hubert Sumlin, and the list goes on, you see, because music is infinite. But the one thing I noticed is a lot of these people are no longer with us in the physical realm, but they're here in spirit, and their music carries on. So this is called Another Ten Years Gone. <laughs> Do. Here's what I'm gonna do. That's the blue. 
Thank you so much. Give these guys a big hand one more time. Like I told you, my friends, we're lucky enough to have Mr. Dave Keyes joining us tonight. Give him a big hand. <laughs> if you haven't checked him out, check out the Dave Keyes Band. And you're in for a real treat, man. Boogie Woogie Specialist right here, man. Dave, you want to do one, man? Sure. What about little Fannie Mae? I was going to say that. Kia D. Kia D. Box shuffle. Yep. One second, guys. <laughs> I want you to do it.
or as they call him in French, Monsieur Debkiz. Oh man, it's so good to play with Dave again. So good to be here again, man. So good to be alive. Are you with me? Man, let me tell you, every day above ground is a good one. And um, I, it's, it's been, oh, hold on. I set a timer because we're only supposed to do 45 minutes. But I'm going to do one more. What do you think? Yeah. Is that all right with you? Okay. Then we're going to take a little break okay. and we're going to come back. This is an awesome thing that these guys do here at the Full Out Show. The, the extended play yeah. sessions. It's all about the music. It's not for profit. So we're not even getting paid, man. So please buy some merchandise. Buy two. They make great, great presents, man. The Papa Chubby store is in the back. My kid Tippy's at the table. Give, give him a big hand, everybody. Come on, put your hands together. Yeah. And, uh, and we'll be there on the break. But right now, I want to tell you a couple things. First of all, I put out a new record last November. It's a double live best of. And it's live in the studio. And um, it's, it's every song on the record is requested by the fans. So we'll pull a lot of old stuff out of the hat. This is a song that goes back to 1994, to a record I made called Booty and the Beast. And, and I know some of you have been following me since then. I really appreciate it, man. But this is a true story. This is a song about my wilder days before I was such an amazing, realized Buddha of a human being. Look at me now. I might as well have a halo right now. I'm so holy and clean and wonderful. Uh, sorry, there was one demon left inside. He might be a couple others, but back in the day, man, I wasn't such a nice guy. As a matter of fact, sometimes I did all the wrong things with all the wrong people for all the right reasons. And I had a mighty good time, and this is a song about me meeting up with a very rich girl. This girl was so rich, her daddy had a little company. Um, I guess I, I shouldn't say it, but let's just say the Initials were Amex. And I was hanging out with her one day, and things got real bad, man, real bad. So we're gonna, I'm going to tell you a story now. Can I tell you a story? Somebody say, Papa Chubby, tell me a story. Well, I would love to, boys and girls. You've been so good this evening. But I can't tell a story without a bomb-ass bass line, and who's better than to provide that? Our own little bass player, Mr. Mark Grady, and give him some love, everybody. Come on. Isn't he cute? And y'all gotta help me out. All you gotta do is say one word. I know you could do it, but you gotta do it all together. You gotta say, sweat! Can you do that? All together. One, two, three, sweat! Let's try it again. One, two, three, sweat! Oh, you guys are good, man. You're good. Well, I was sitting on the corner when they dragged you in the room. Your eyes were red and bloodshot, little face was full of doom. Set you in the middle, you swore you would not be. Crawled out to the middle on a pair of broken legs, you said. I know I'm crazy, I hear voices in my head. End up in that rubber room, might as well be dead. Look down to your navel, began to hum a tune. Sucking like a millionaire on your silver spoon. Made you sweat. Here we go. Ready? Made you sweat. I made you sweat. Now hold on. Uh, give me the piano, Dave. One, two, three. Y'all look like some nice people. But I heard the people here in Norwood like to go out and have a good time on a Saturday night. Is that true? I haven't heard you make like to drink a little alcohol. Is that true? I haven't heard you might like to get a little messed up sometimes. Is that true? 
As a matter of fact, I heard you like to drink all night long till the bars close. Go back to the hour, after hours, and after hours close. Go back to your house on your hands and knees. Go inside, close the door, shut tight. Close the windows tight, close the shutters tight because you don't want to hear the birds singing. You don't want to see the sun rise. You don't want to hear none of that. And you lay down on your bed and right about that time, the bed spins one way. The ceiling spins a second way. And your stomach spins a third way and you wind up worshiping and at the altar of the porcelain God, I said, worshiping in it. Worshiping in it. And right about that time, the telephone rings. It rings twice. Thrice. Thrice. Quintice. I'm making this shit up. You pick up the phone, it's her. She says, what's the matter, baby? You say, leave me alone, woman, I'm sick. She says, I'll be right over. You say, don't come over, click. There's a knock on the door. Red fingernails on the door. You say, go away, I don't feel good. Key enters the door lock. Oh, shit. Gave her your key. She comes inside looking good. High heel shoes, fishnet stockings, miniskirt, up to here, up to here, up to your short skirt. She looks at you, she says, come to mama. Tells you her story. Said her name was Sadie, that you was your doll. Look of apprehension you all said that was enough. Look down to your pocket, said daddy, my legs are soft. Under the buttons on your jeans, drop them to the floor. Lean back and enjoy it. It's gonna hurt. A blow job's better than no job. Girls just gotta work. Look of catatonia came up on your eyes. Held your head between her hands. Show you got a rise. Made you sweat. Come on now. I made you sweat. Right about that time, our story, our story, and our story, our story takes a decided turn for the worse for our hero, moi. There was a knock upon the door. Bigger than that. Bigger than that. Even bigger than that. And a knock like that only means one thing. It means you are with another man's woman, and he has come to find out where you are and exact his revenge. You ready, fellas? A fun? A two? Ah, uh, you know what to do. In the street, say they look from me to him, back from him to you. Passed out cold from thinking about things that he might do. Pulled the pistol from his pants, apologized inside. Shot her 16 times, then I said goodbye. Left her sitting all alone, all we could do was cry. Sweat down mingled with our tears, such a sweet goodbye. Major sweat. You ready? Major! Come on now. Major! Let's do it, fellas!
so much, y'all. You guys are awesome. Stick and stay, don't go away. We're just getting warmed up. And we love y'all.
Been so long now. Oh, but yet it seems like it was just the other day. Oh, ain't it funny how time. your new love Oh, I hope he's doing fine I heard you told him It's the same thing that you told me. Oh, seems like it was just the other day. Oh, ain't it funny how time slips away?
Just remember when I tell you, oh, in time, in time, you're gonna pay. Oh, ain't it funny how time slips away? Just remember.
Yeah.
blues. Yeah, before I go any further, how about a big hand for the Rolling Stones, y'all? That's right, that's right, man. In their 80s, making groundbreaking moves, that's right. And it all started with a Muddy Waters song. That's where the Stones got their name, did you know that? From a Muddy Waters song, that's right. <laughs>
mama Till I'm a rolling stone Sure enough I am I'm a rolling stone It's all right, it's all right All right, it's all right All right, it's all right It's all right Get the ball! 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Give me one second here. I'm Taylor Swift. I'm prettier than that bitch anyway. Listen, I've seen Taylor Swift without her clothes. She's nothing. You want to see me without my clothes? I know you don't. Well, you do. You already have. You didn't tell your wife? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. You were my 4-H counselor, remember? Getting crazy now. They're quiet in here. Speaking of Taylor Swift. <laughs> Listen to music online. Yeah. You guys stream music? Shame on you. Now, it's the way we listen now. You know why? We've been, we've been programmed. I was just having a conversation with a lady in the back saying that she doesn't have a CD player in her car anymore, right? How many of you guys no longer have a CD player in your car, right? Sad, right? Because you got a lot of CDs, but not by choice. You see, what they're trying to do is make content, all artistic content, valueless. And that's why we have Spotify and Pandora and Apple Music and all the horrible streaming services that take our music and pay us nothing. So the way you can help us out is coming to shows like you do, buy merchandise directly from the artists, because that's what the business is now, man. Because you got these fat cats making billions while we're on the road in a van trying to make gas money, man. She just ain't right. But it's, it's the old story, man. The old story is that uh, the least important person in the chain is the musician, even though it all starts with us. We don't make records. There ain't no music to buy. Ain't no music to steal these days. So please, before you come to me and tell me, hey, I listen to you on Spotify, buy a record, man. Buy a vinyl record, buy a CD, buy a T-shirt, something like that. We'd really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you so much. This has been a public service announcement. We want to tell you about real gangsters, you see? Because the, the music business is full of gangsters, but they ain't real gangsters, see? Real gangsters, you don't even know they're gangsters. It's the wisdom of Don Corleone, you see? You keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Matter of fact, I have to say, The Godfather 1 is my favorite movie of all time. Anybody with me here? Godfather 2, The Rise of Michael Corleone. Wonderful movie, right? Great movie. Fredo, I knew it was you. You broke my heart. Godfather 3, what a sack of shit. Scorsese knew better. He didn't care anymore. He cast his daughter, not Scorsese, Coppola. Scorsese was always doing something else. Coppola, didn't know, he knew better. He cast his daughter in the movie, man. She had such a bad voice, they had to hire a voice double for the whole movie, man. So, uh, but still, Godfather won the greatest theme of all time. <laughs>
And she's walking through the club With a circus man left around But the flies and zebras who the east favorite tale, yeah All she thinks about Riding on the wind When I'm sad She come to me With a thousand smiles Give me for free Yeah oh, Give me everything
down, sit down. Go ahead, you're old, man, you're old. You're not gonna be able to stand up tomorrow, man. Take it easy. Take it easy, take some ibuprofen, relax. Relax, man. Yeah, see, this is the difference. Musicians would never do that. If we came to a show, we'd be chilling in the back at the bar, man, because we know there's a difference between musicians and normal people. A difference between us and you, my friends, even though you are fabulous people. Do we have any musicians in the house? Let me all my musician friends. All right, good, good, good. So you know what I'm talking about. Musicians are different, man. We're not like the rest of you, man. We may look like you. We may smell like you, though somewhat better. We may even taste like you do. See Mark after the show. But we're not exactly like you. There's some inherent differences. For instance, the hours we keep. They call them musicians' hours, you see. Just about the time you're getting up to go to work, that's about the time we're coming home. Why, just the other day, my friends, can I call you my friends? Can I call you my friends? Just the other day, my friendly little friends, I awoke at the crack of noon, and I turned to my baby laying beside me. Now pay attention, fellas, especially you young guys. You want to learn this is very important. Never wake a sleeping woman unless you have to, because she may get violent. She got to shake her very gently. She was laying next to me, sound asleep. I looked at her, oh, I don't want to do this, but it's an emergency. You see, it's Sunday, and the liquor store closes at 1, and I don't have any money. He awakes, looks at me, kind of like halfway between the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot. She says, what do you want? I said, take it easy, honey. Put down the hatchet. I need some money. She said, what you need some money for? And I said, I need to go down to the liquor store. So my baby gave me $69 to go down to the liquor store. And when I came back, I didn't have my baby no more. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to feature the band on the, this, this next song. Give it up for the legendary Beast Band right here. Yeah. Each man a beast in his own right. That was good, Keys. You look scary. Take it easy, baby. You scare me now.
baby, give me $69. Go to the liquor store. Baby, give me $69. Go to the liquor store. I ain't got my baby no more. Baby, let me early this morning. Daddy, you don't treat me right. Baby, let me early this morning. Daddy, you don't treat me right. Won't come home at night. Got a dollar for the moonshine road. Got a dollar. I tell stuff. Got a dollar, put your pay Baby, give me such a nine dollar Go to the liquor store I ain't got my baby no more Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dave Keyes
good friends on the bass guitar, hailing from Rhode Island, Mr. Mark Garabian. so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What can I say, you know? Hold on, we gotta do this, man. We're, go we're gonna go pretty soon, I gotta warn you. So when we go one more time, please visit the merch table in the back. But before we do, Dave, you got one more for the people, man? Give it for my brother, Mr. Dave Keys, man. You know, we were talking about Chuck Berry. And, and Let's see, you gonna do Let It Rock? Yeah, do Let It Rock. Let's do Let It yeah. Rock. Yeah. Keys C, yep. Chuck Berry. You want me to start it?
Good night, everybody.